Welcome back from Mars, you crazy astro-masochists. Okay, it was actually just Hawaii. But for a full year, these six scientists lived in a Mars habitat simulator called High Seas on the Big Island. High Seas is an example of international collaborative research hosted and run by the University of Hawaii. Uh, so it's really exciting to be able to welcome the crew back to Earth and back to Hawaii after a year on Mars. Did they science the sh out of it Mark Watney style? They sure did. They were confined to their dome and only made periodic journeys onto the volcanic surface of Mauna Loa in their Martian sim suits. Hey, nice kicks. A mission to Mars in the close future is realistic. I think the technological and psychological obstacles can be overcome. This was the second longest Mars simulation ever undertaken. That honor belongs to a group of Russians who spent 520 days in a pod. And you thought your roommate was lame. The UH research going up here is just super vital when it comes to picking crews, um, figuring out how people are going to actually work on different kinds of missions. It's sort of the human factors element of space travel, colonization. The crew was sealed off just like they would be on Mars. Email was slowed to a Martian 20 minute delay and food power and water were limited to what was on hand. Just showing that it works, you can actually get water from a ground that is seemingly dry. It would work on Mars and the implication is that you would be able to get water on Mars from this little greenhouse. So what does a returning Martian explorer want to eat? Pizza and bananas, of course. <laughs> <laughs> 